Hey, Dr. Tommy Goranga. Going to Manchester in a couple of days. Decided to go nomadic. I'm gonna go down south and um, go to a few different towns around there. Ask some more questions. It's interesting. Uh, you know what? What's the difference between a dead body and a living body? The consciousness is there. It's present in the living body. Vedas explain that that the presence of the soul, just like the sun gives off heat and light the soul emanates um, consciousness so although we can't see the soul because there's consciousness within the body then we know that the soul is there once the soul leaves the body the consciousness goes with it as much as when the sun goes down then it's night time doesn't mean the sun doesn't exist primitive cavemen thought that the sun used to die at night and then a new one was born the next day. Just the same way, when somebody dies, then it appears the person is dead. But really, it's just like the sun setting. In another place, it's rising. For one who is born, death is certain. For one who dies, birth is certain. The spark, the soul, indestructible, just the same way we can't see the soul but we can see um, the consciousness so we can perceive just look into somebody's eyes you know and then if you ever see someone who's died then look in their eyes big difference even people that see pe their anybody dying it's like in a flash the eyes are like whoo, just glaze over it's like momentary the consciousness leaves the eyes are described like the windows of the soul right consciousness yeah it's doing so many things for the body uh, that we're not even aware of presence of the atma the self the soul um, is causing so many wonderful things to happen within the body that otherwise when you have a dead body don't happen, won't happen, you know, nobody's been able to create a body that can do the things that a conscious body can do. Consciousness is the key element for anything that's going on within our body to be happening. As soon as consciousness is not there, these things don't happen anymore. In fact, the body doesn't even last very long after. Sometimes we look at our toenails and they need cutting, you know. So many things are going on. As we grow older, we see hair growing in weird places, really weird places. <laughs> and we weren't even aware of that. The, you know, it's like the body is just, the consciousness is causing things in the body to happen. That we're not even aware of ourselves. Um, identifying ourselves with the mind, with the senses. Our knowledge of even what our own consciousness is doing we're not even aware of that it's like we're not even conscious of ourselves of our own um, you know what effect what the presence of the atma the consciousness is having on our body it's very interesting it's like we're covered under the clouds like one cannot see the sun but they know that the sun is there because uh, you can see it's the daytime, right? Even though the sun, you can't see it for the clouds, but it's daytime because of the light. Same way we can't see the soul, we can't see ourselves, but we're conscious. So it's like the presence of the soul means consciousness is emanating. So we're like under the clouds of the false ego. Um, we can see the light, but we can't see the sun. It's like we're aware, we're conscious, I exist, but then who am I? That's more covered. Identifying ourselves with this body and with the mind, which are separate. It's like sometimes the mind is like a separate thing, you know, like, I mean, you can see it quite clearly. 
like when you go to read a book sometimes you have to study or you have to read something and you have to do it and maybe your mind is not into doing it so it's like you're reading but then there's, your mind's like oh no let's do something different let's do something different and you know you've got to do this so you're like no I need to read I need to read but the mind is giving some alternative idea so already there's a distinction between the self and the mind even very minutely if you analyze this when we say I feel like this, I feel happy, I feel depressed, I feel angry. As soon as you say, I feel, it's like you can describe it and talk about it. That means it's something separate from you. It's thinking, feeling and willing. These are the three functions of the material mind. 